The anime starts with the protagonist, Amane Fujimiya walking down the street in the heavy rain. While he was on his way home, he saw a beautiful girl sitting alone and completely drenched in the rain. He tried to ignore her at first, but when he saw her crying, his intrusive thoughts kicks in. He offers his umbrella to her. The next day at school, Amane caught a cold because he gave his only umbrella to the girl. As a result his friend, Itsuki Akasawa got worried for him. We got to know that the girl Amane helped is Shina Mahiru. She is a student just like him. However, she is also called an angel because she is very good at studies, and sports and is also a very humble person. Due to this reason, many boys in the class want to date her. At Amane's apartment, as he steps out of the elevator, he notices Sheena standing in front of her apartment. She is holding the umbrella he gave her. Sheena notices that Amane is suffering from a fever, so she asks what could she do to help him. Amane was tired and ill. He didn't have the strength to talk much. So, he told Sheena to mind her own business. But he was too weak to even open his door as he was about to fall. Sheena helped him in getting inside his apartment. But was not at all pleased when she saw the filth he was living in. We got to know that Sheena is Amane's neighbor. Just like him, she also lives alone. She told him to change his clothes and wait for her to bring him some food she has made. After a few minutes, she brought him some rice porridge. Amane tasted it. The rice porridge was delicious. He was amazed to know that Sheena alongside other things is also good at cooking. Out of curiosity, he asks the reason she was sitting alone yesterday. Did she fight with her boyfriend? He asks. Sheena clarifies that she doesn't have a boyfriend. And nor she is planning to. And the reason she was sitting alone was to just cool her head. The next day on the balcony, Sheena caught him drinking something. She asks what are you drinking? Amane said, just my dinner. Sheena was not at all pleased. She told him to stop having such unhealthy diets. And gave him some food for dinner. The next day when Amane returned the container, Sheena again handed him food for dinner. This time, Amane told her to stop. She has already returned the favor. And no longer needs to do anything else. Sheena said that this makes her happy. She can't bear to see her neighbor living an unhealthy life. After this, she started giving him dinner every day. One day, she went to Amane's apartment to ask for the container back. When he opens the door, Sheena saw the filth was still uncleaned. So she requests him to let her clean his room. They started cleaning the room. As she was about to clean the air conditioner, Sheena steps on a shirt and was about to fall. But Amane catches her. Sheena was a bit surprised. After they cleaned the room, Amane treat her a pizza for dinner. She was very delighted. Amane asks her whether this is her first time eating it. Sheena replied yes. Back at her home, she had a housekeeper who cooked her food. So that's why she hasn't tasted anything from outside. After eating dinner, she went to her apartment. Amane was on his way home when he saw Sheena sitting in the park. He went up to her and asks, what are you doing here? Looking at the fur on her cloth, he asked, oh, were you playing with a cat? Annoyingly Sheena replied, I was not playing. She added, actually the cat was not able to come down the tree, so I climbed up and bring it down. Amane notices that she has hurt her leg. And probably that is why she is sitting here with one of her shoes taken off. He told her to stay here, while he come back from the apartment. After a few minutes, Amane arrives with a first aid box. He handed his coat to her and told her to take off her socks. With a surprised face, Sheena asks, why? He replied, well obviously to put on the bandage. Don't worry I am not a man of culture. I just want to put the bandage. While he was looking away Sheena took off her socks. After that Amane put on some ice and bandaged her ankle. After he was done, Amane said, put on the jacket, if you don't want others to see you with me. With a surprised face, Sheena said, huh? Then Amane carried her on his back to their apartment. Before she went to her apartment, Sheena thanked him. The next day at night, Sheena handed the container containing the dinner to Amane. Amane thanked her and asks, how is your pain now? Sheena replied, thanks to you, now it is better. Sheena suggested, if you want to eat more fresh meals then, I would have to cook inside your apartment. With a surprised face, Amane told her, you are already doing enough. I can't ask you for more. Sheena added, but, only if you can pay half for the ingredients. Amane replied, I would be happy to share it. But, 
wouldn't it be dangerous for you to be alone with me? Sheena with a serious look said, if you dare to do anything to me, I would make sure that you will never be a father. Amane was already imagining the pain. However, Sheena knew what type of a person Amane is. She told him, I can tell, you are not interested in me. That's why in the first place I offered to cook. The next day, Sheena arrives and started cooking the meal, while Amane was sitting in the living room. While Sheena was cooking, he looked at her and wondered, isn't this weird? She's almost like my wife. Sheena noticed that Amane is staring at her. She teases him by asking, I hope you are not having any cultured thoughts about me. Amane panicked. And said, do not think too much. When the dinner was ready, Amane was amazed to see how insanely delicious it looks. After they were done eating. The both of them washed the dishes. The next day, after they ate dinner. Amane asked Sheena, what are you doing? Sheena replied, just checking my answers for today's test. Amane asks, how much do you think you would get? Sheena confidently said, a perfect 100. Amane was amazed. Sheena said, you are good too. Amane replied, well that is a condition for me to live alone in the first place. He added, but not good as you. With a depressed tone, Sheena whispered, I have too. As she was about to leave, Amane notices that her ID card is left on the desk. When he looked at the card, he was surprised because Sheena's birthday is four days later. He then handed the ID card to her. So the next day at school, he asked Akazawa and his girlfriend, Chitose what would be a perfect gift for a girl. Out of curiosity, Chitose asks, since when do you have a girlfriend? Amane clarifies, it is just someone I knew. Chitose didn't force him further and suggested a cosmetic item would be great. Amane liked the idea. The day of Sheena's birthday arrives. At night after dinner, Amane sat next to her and handed the gift. With a surprised look, Sheena asks, what is this? Amane replied, isn't today your birthday? Sheena said, yes, it is. But how did you know? As far as I remember, I haven't told a single person in the school about it. With a suspicious tone, Sheena added, so are you stalking me now? Amane told her that he saw it on the ID card she left the other day. Sheena tells him that he didn't have to give her anything. Because she doesn't celebrate her birthday. Amane replied, well, this is just a way for me to repay you. So just take it. When Sheena opened it, the gift was hand cream. Amane told her, because you are so practical, I thought it would suit your current lifestyle. Sheena was happy. She notices that there is another gift. With a bit of shyness in his tone, Amane said, well, this one is based on my impression of you. That's it. And if you didn't like it, you can throw it away. The second gift was a small stuffed bear. With a serious look, Sheena replied, I will never throw it. I will treasure it. Amane looked at her while she was saying this and quickly turned the other way. He told himself, damn. I shouldn't have looked at her. Does this mean, Amane has started to fall for Sheena? Well, it will all be revealed in the upcoming episodes. So stay tuned guys. Amane has an unexpected guest. The woman is Amane's mother. She has come here to meet her son and ask about his well-being. Amane was very reluctant to let his mom come inside the house. But after a bit of persuasion, he let her in. Amane's mother is very impressed to see how tidy Amane's home is. And to see her son looking healthy, she couldn't believe it is his son. As she was about to enter Amane's bedroom, Amane was in a panic. He warns her that inside there are very embarrassing things that he doesn't want to show. The scene went back to five minutes earlier, and there Amane is telling Sheena to hide inside his bedroom. Because he doesn't want his mother to see them together and make any wrong assumptions. Amane's mother suspected that Amane is lying. And she enters the room. Inside the room, it was Sheena, who was napping. Her mom was surprised to see Sheena's angelic beauty. She assumes that the girl is Amane's girlfriend. Amane tells her that she is just a friend. He tells her to not turn all girls' and boys' friendships into something romantic. Hearing the conversation, Sheena wakes up. Amane's mother went to Sheena and asks, Hey Amane's girlfriend. What is your name? Sheena with a surprised look replies, it's Mahiru Sheena. Amane's mother tells Sheena to call her Shihoko. Sheena tries to clear up the misunderstanding by telling her that she only cooks for Amane because he can't do it. Amane's mother was very happy that Amane has got a girlfriend who takes care of him. 
Amane told Sheena that once his mother gets worked up she stops listening to other things. Before Amane's mother leave, she asks for Sheena's phone number. Amane apologizes to Sheena for not clearing up the misunderstanding. Sheena was happy to see how much Amane's mother care for him and tell him that he is lucky. Before Sheena leaves, Amane gives her his apartment keys. He tells her that it's a pain to open the door every time. Sheena tells him that he is making a very indecisive decision. Amane tells her that when they stop hanging out, she can hand him the keys then. But for now, she can keep it because he trusts her. Sheena was very glad to hear it. The next day at school, the earlier exam result came out. Amane came 21st with 985 points. And Sheena came first with 1,180 points. At home, he treats Sheena with a cake to celebrate her achievement. Sheena told him that he don't have to buy this because it is not something special. Amane told her that it is just a small treat for her hard work. Sheena was very happy when she ate it, it almost looks like she is eating it after a very long time. She then feeds Amane the cake with her own hands. Amane was surprised but ate it anyway. The next day at school, Chitose requests Amane to let them come to his house on Christmas Eve. Amane told her that he can't do that and told her to change her plans. Chitose tells him that he doesn't even have a girlfriend then why are you not allowing us to come? Chitose asks, Amane you don't want to spend your time with us? Is that the reason? Amane finally gives up and allowed them. But on the condition that they wrap up before dinner. At home, Amane tells Sheena about his plan with his friends. And asks her how she would spend her time on Christmas Eve. Sheena tells Amane that all her friends have boyfriends and the boys who asked her out, she rejected them. So, she would be spending the time alone. Amane with a worried tone asks, won't you be lonely? Sheena with a sad tone replied, I'm used to it. Amane then asks her whether she would like to spend some time with him on Christmas. Sheena told him that she will. And told him that on Christmas they can play some video games as she has never played them. On Christmas Eve, while they were enjoying the party, suddenly the snow started falling. Chitose and Akazawa were in shock as they went outside to see the snow. Because it was Sheena next to their apartment. Surprised Chitose asked Sheena, what are you doing here? In reply, Sheena said, oops. Sheena joins them and explains everything to both of them. How she and Amane had their encounter. Because his diet was not healthy and to repay his favor she started making dinner for him. After hearing their situation, Akazawa tells them they almost look like a married couple. However, Sheena and Amane clarify, they don't have any ulterior motives for each other. Amane requests Chitose and Akazawa to not tell anyone in the school, as it will cause unnecessary trouble for both him and Sheena. Akazawa and Chitose agree to not tell anyone. Chitose is mesmerized to see Sheena's beauty. However, when she tries to touch Sheena's face, Amane stopped her. And told her to watch her manners. Chitose asks whether they can be friends. To this, Sheena happily agrees. After they left, Amane apologizes for his friend's manners. However, Sheena enjoyed meeting such interesting people. The next day on Christmas, just as planned, Sheena is playing video games. But due to her lack of experience, Sheena was facing some difficulties. So, Amane holding Sheena's hand guides her. But, when Amane realizes that he is touching Sheena, he quickly steps back and apologizes. Sheena was a bit surprised, but not mad because Amane is not a stranger. She was so into the game, that she was following the character's movement. But accidentally falls on Amane's lap. She was embarrassed but Amane started laughing because it was cute. After the game ended, Sheena tells Amane that she really enjoyed it. Amane gives Sheena a Christmas gift. It is a key case for the apartment key that Amane gave her earlier. Sheena was really happy. After seeing Amane's everyday clothing style, Sheena didn't expect Amane's sense of style to be good. But tells him that his style was better during middle school. Amane explains the reason for it was her mother. But then asks how did she know about his style in middle school. Sheena tells about Amane's photo that his mother sent her. After hearing this, Amane is really worried about what else his mother will send Sheena. Sheena also gives Amane a Christmas present. It is a scarf. Amane is happy to receive it. Seeing Sheena smile, with a straight face, Amane tells her how cute she looks while smiling. And before he further speaks, Sheena got embarrassed and covers his face with the scarf. She went outside. It was cold so Amane puts a shawl on her. 
he thanked her for the last two months. Sheena also thanked him. The next day, Sheena came to cook dinner. However, Amane notices, Sheena is a bit red. He tells her to check her fever. After checking, her temperature is 38.4 degrees Celsius. He told her to rest, and today he will make dinner. However, Sheena tells him that she is fine. And she'll cook dinner. Seeing that she is stubborn, he picks her up and asks where she wants to rest. Sheena didn't want Amane to see her apartment, so she chooses Amane's room. So he put her on his bed. When he tries to leave the room, Sheena grabs her trouser and wishes him good night. Worrying that she might escape, Amane holds her hand and tell her that he will not leave until she sleeps. The next day, after waking up, Amane went to check Sheena's fever. She still has some left. So Amane gave her some rice porridge and gelatin. After she ate it, Amane sat down and waits till Sheena fall asleep. Sheena tells Amane that nobody except Koyuki-san, her housekeeper took care of her like Amane. And after Koyuki-san went to her home, she ends up alone in her house. Amane assures her, with him being here she will not end up alone. Amane blushingly said that he can't see the person he spends all his time getting sick. And tells her to sleep so that she can regain her strength. As Sheena lies down, Amane holds her hand until she sleeps. It's New Year. Both Amane and Sheena wish each other. Amane receives a message from his father about him coming tomorrow to his apartment. Before he tells Sheena about it, she falls asleep on Amane's shoulder. It seems she still hasn't recovered from her fever. So, Amane decides to put her on his bed while he sleeps on the sofa. Before going to sleep he touches Sheena's cheeks and wishes her good night. It's morning, and Sheena is still sleeping. He touches Sheena's cheek again, she wakes up. She is a bit surprised. Amane tells her about his parents coming today to meet them. After a few hours, Amane's parents arrive. His father, Shudo Fujimiya wishes and greets Sheena. They thank Sheena for taking care of Amane. While chatting, Shihoko tells Sheena about the kimono she has bought for her. In that, she and Amane will go on their first shrine visit. Amane dresses up first. When Sheena comes out in kimono, he is stunned to see how angelic Sheena is looking. Before they go, Sheena whispers in Amane's ear that he is looking good in it. Amane is blushing. During the shrine visit, everyone is staring at them because of how good they look together. Since it is so crowded, Amane holds Sheena's hand. After the shrine visit, they went back to their home. Before she went to her apartment, Sheena tell Amane that it was a wonderful day. The next day, before Amane's parents leave, they made him promise to bring Sheena in the summer to their home. At school, a rumor about Sheena holding the hand of her boyfriend is already spread. Classmates are wondering who could be this boy. One of the girls reveals that the boy is pretty handsome but doesn't seem to be from this school. Akazawa stares at Amane since he knows who is that guy. Before he speaks anything, Amane told him to not say a single word. At home, Sheena and Amane discuss what to do now. For the time being Sheena has dismissed the rumors by saying the boy was her acquaintance. They believe it is better to wait for some time while the news gets cool off. Amane is frustrated and asks Sheena, why do people even think, a guy like me could ever be your boyfriend? Sheena gets upset and tells Amane to not think so low of himself. Because she considers him a gentle, kind, and considerate person. And he even looks good in dresses. After realizing what she just said, in embarrassment, Sheena is covering her face while Amane is washing the dishes to avoid awkwardness. The next day, since Valentine's Day is tomorrow, Chitose has come to ask what kind of chocolate should she give to Akazawa. However, Amane doesn't know. Sheena also plans to give it to some of her friends. Chitose is very happy to know she is one of them. It's Valentine's Day, and at school, every girl is giving handmade chocolate to Katawaki. The rest of the boys are just staring at him. Akazawa teases Amane and asks whether he would receive any chocolates from Sheena. Amane denies that he doesn't know. After school ended, Chitose gives Amane her special Russian chocolate which is both super sweet and bitter. Akazawa wishes Amane for his safety. Seeing how many chocolate boxes Katawaki has to carry, Amane gives him a polybag that he always carries for groceries. At home, Amane eats the chocolate Chitose gave him. However, they are too bad. Sheena gives Amane a hot chocolate that she has made. It is very delicious. 
thinking it is very unusual for Sheena to make it, Amane asks whether she has made it because of Valentine's Day. Sheena is blushing and replied yes. Amane, thanks her. Sheena who is partially covering her face with a pillow suddenly went to her apartment. But leaving a bag behind the door. When he opened it, there is some chocolates Sheena had made for him. In the note, she wrote these are for helping her. Amane couldn't be happy more. The next day at school, Katawaki shows his gratitude to Amane for helping him. At home, when Amane opens his door, Sheena is already inside. Sheena is still covering her face with a pillow in embarrassment over yesterday's incident. In return for the chocolate, Amane plans to return the favor. The next day it's the white day, so Amane dressed up, gives Sheena the present. It is a bracelet. Sheena is very happy. But, there is another item in the bag. Sheena opens it and it is a do-anything-you-want card. Amane is blushing. He thought one gift wouldn't be enough so he thought this would be good. Sheena tells Amane that she wants to use it now. And tells Amane to put the bracelet on her. Amane puts it on her. Looking at how gorgeous she is looking, Amane is speechless. The next day at school, Akazawa had an argument with his father. As a result, he requests Amane to let him stay in the house for a few days. Amane agrees a spring break is starting tomorrow. In the evening, Sheena makes dinner. Akazawa is delighted to taste it. At night, he tells Amane that he is happy for him. Because in school his image has become of an unsociable nerd. And on seeing how much Sheena trusts him. Akazawa is happy and would like it if both of them get into a relationship. Amane didn't say anything and goes to sleep. After knowing Akazawa is staying in Amane's house and he has tasted Sheena's amazing cooking, Chitose is excited and comes to stay at Sheena's house. Chitose was amazed after eating Sheena's omelette rice. In the night, Chitose sends a photo of Mihiru in a cute outfit. It is so unexpected that Amane is blushing heavily. Akazawa takes Amane's photo as told by Chitose. Amane asks the reason. Akazawa tells him it is something for later. After three days, Akazawa and Chitose are leaving. He is going to stay with Chitose for a few more days. After they left, Amane tells Sheena that he is glad to see her taking care of the gift he gave her. Sheena says, well obviously because you gave it to me. She also tells him about the photo Chitose showed of him. But then she quickly covers her face and tells him to ignore it. Amane is a bit confused. The next day, while coming to his home, Amane sees a woman scolding Sheena. She tells Sheena that she is a disappointment. And once she graduates she'll never see her again. After she leaves, Amane asks Sheena what was it all about. Sheena tells him that she was her biological mother. And since Sheena's birth, she has always hated her. Amane holds her hand and requests her to tell him about it. In his apartment. While holding Amane's hand, she tells. That her parents didn't marry out of love. They were forced by their family because of their mutual interests. Every day after their marriage, they treated the house as a hotel. But one night, they slept. And after nine months she was born. They were not interested in raising her and only supported her financially. No matter how much she achieved, they still didn't want her. And as they were away for most of the time, Sheena's bond with her housekeeper grew stronger. They do not want a divorce, because then one of them would have to take care of her. And none of them wants to do it. So they are waiting for her to finish college. And then they all will go their separate ways. Amane is very sad. He couldn't believe how tough a situation Sheena is in. Sheena then tells, the day Amane met her, that day her mother told her, Sheena was an unwanted child. Which was so devastating she couldn't think of anything else. And at that point, she felt really lonely. Amane is frustrated. He covers her with a sheet and comforts her. Sheena couldn't hold her tears anymore. Amane hugs her and tells her that she doesn't need to feel lonely ever again because he is here for her. Sheena felt very relieved. They went out for a walk. From tomorrow, a new session is beginning. Sheena tells that she is excited to see her new classmates. The next day, the new term has begun. And this time, all four of them are in the same class. Sheena is happy to see Amane. Katawaki is also in the same class. He greets both Akazawa and Amane. However, Amane suddenly starts to get some flashbacks from his middle school. At home, Amane is in deep thought. Sheena is worried and asks him if anything is wrong. Amane denies it and tells her everything is fine. Seeing he is lying, 
Sheena gets a little pushy and tells him it's fine to lean on her just like she did. Amane still refuses. Sheena didn't force him further. Seeing how supportive Sheena was, Amane get her a lot of stuffed toys. She is surprised and very happy. The next day at school, the teacher tells students to form a group of four and plan the menu for their cooking lessons. Amane, Akazawa, Sheena and Chitose are in one group. However, after seeing Amane with Sheena, some of the boys are not happy. At lunch, Katawaki approaches Akazawa and Amane. He tells that he wants to become their friend. Without any hesitation, Akazawa agrees. However, Amane asks him what benefit will you get from it. Katawaki a bit surprised, ask I don't think people make friends to make a profit out of them. He just wants to know them better. Amane immediately apologizes for his rude question. At home, Sheena is jealous to see any boy can come up and get close to Amane. Whereas she is not able to do it. Amane calms her down by patting her head. And tells that they cannot do anything risky that other students can misinterpret. The next day, as a group they are cooking food. And as expected, Sheena's angelic skills are very helpful. Two boys are messing around and as a result the Kuria girl was making accidentally falls toward Sheena. Amane with his quick reflexes saves her. After asking Sheena and the girl whether they are okay. He got angry and tell the boys to not fool around. Because here a lot of serious accidents can happen. Sheena is very happy to see Amane protecting her. The two boys apologize and after it, the teacher also scolds them. The golden week is coming. Sheena uses the anything you want ticket. She tells Amane that for a day in the golden week, she wants to go out with him for shopping. And after, somewhere they can enjoy like, a cat cafe and an arcade. Amane is happy and agrees. The golden week has started, and just as promised, Sheena is teaching cooking to Chitose at her request. They start by making a shrimp dish. And in the meantime, Amane takes a nap. When he wakes up, he is surprised to see Sheena beside her. When Amane was napping, she sat next to him, and Amane leaned on her. Sheena didn't want to interrupt his sleep so, she stayed like this. Chitose teases them for having such a weird relationship. After eating the food, Chitose thanks Sheena and leaves. While they both were sitting, Sheena confesses that while Amane was sleeping, she squeezed his cheeks. Amane tells her that it's fine. After all, he would have also done the same. Since tomorrow they are going out as planned, Sheena asks Amane's opinion on whether she should wear a mature dress or a prim and proper one. Amane picks a prim and proper dress as it will look cute on her. She promises to leave him speechless with her dress. The next day, Amane is stunned to see how gorgeous Sheena is looking. Holding each other's hand, first they go to the cat cafe. Sheena is excited to see how many cats are here. The coffee is decorated with cute cat latte art. But she does not want to drink it, as it will ruin the cuteness. Amane laughs and tells how cute she is to worry about the art. He tells her to drink or otherwise it will be a waste. Covering her eyes, Sheena drinks it. Amane laughs at the foam mustache and takes her photo. After playing with the cats, they go to the shopping mall. While Sheena was picking a dress, two girls approach Amane and ask him to hang out with them. Just then Sheena comes and takes him away with a jealous look on her face. From there they go to the arcade. After winning a toy, Sheena gifts it to Amane. Amane takes it and thanks her. And when he was about to put his hand on Sheena's head, Katawaki comes. He is surprised to see both of them together. Amane explains that he and Sheena live next door and know each other for a year. Sheena requests Katawaki to not tell anyone about her and Amane's friendship. Katawaki promises that he will not. Because he understands it will cause misunderstanding. After it, they go back to their home. The next day, at karaoke, Katawaki asks about yesterday's incident. Amane tells him that they were just hanging out, that's all. Akazawa, tells Katawaki that every day Sheena comes to Amane's home and cooks for him. Katawaki is surprised because normally a girl would not want to spend her time with a boy unless she is interested in him. And on top of it, coming to a boy's house is only when she is very comfortable around him. Katawaki tells Amane to be honest and asks whether he likes Sheena. Amane gives in and finally confesses that he likes her. After coming from karaoke, at home, Amane notices that Sheena is hiding something. He asks her. Sheena tells that Amane's mother sent some of his pictures when Amane was younger. Amane is very embarrassed. He tries to take away the phone but accidentally pushes Sheena down. 
realizing it is a bit awkward, Amane gets up. Sheena gives the phone to him. And while Amane is checking on them, Sheena smiles. The next day, Sheena asks Amane why did he decide to start living alone. While petting Sheena's head he tells her to not worry too much because it's not a big deal. Sheena suspects Amane is lying and asks him again. He starts telling. When he was younger, he was fortunate to be born into a well-off family where he was loved. But because of it, he starts believing everyone was the same. Because of his naiveness, few of his so-called friends use him for his money. But one day, he heard them talking nasty things behind his back. Even though he knew there are good people also, but still from then he started suspecting everyone who wants to be his friend. And to start a fresh beginning he changed his school and started living here. Sheena gets angry and tells him that if those guys were here, she would have slapped them hard. She tells him that he is a very kind person. She pulls him closer and tells him to rely on her just like she did. And that he doesn't need to hide anything from her. The next day in school, two girls ask Sheena about the guy she was in the shopping mall. Sheena tells them that he is a friend. They further ask her whether she is dating him. Sheena replies that technically it was a date, but we are not an official couple. She tells them, one thing is for sure he is the most important person to her. Amane is stunned to hear it. At home, Amane asks Sheena about what she said. Sheena tells Amane that she was not lying. It has been a year, but he is the closest person to her. She feels more comfortable with him than any other person. Amane understands what she meant. The next day, Amane looks a bit dead inside. Chitose asks the reason. Amane tells the reason is that he has started going for exercise and is just a little tired. Amane seems a bit awkward looking at Sheena. And even when she asks him something, he is not able to look into her eyes. At home, she asks Amane why was he avoiding her in school. Sheena apologizes in case she has done something of which she is not aware. He tells her that she hasn't done anything. Sheena asks the reason Amane was being so cold. Amane is freaking out, but when Sheena forces him, he gives in and tells her that today he had a lewd dream about her. And because of it, he was very awkward seeing her face. Amane apologizes. Sheena asks about what exactly she was doing. Amane is freaking out and tells her she doesn't need to know all that. Sheena comforts him and tells him that it's natural to have these thoughts when you are spending a large amount of time with the opposite gender. The next day at school, students are notified about the upcoming exams. And for its preparation, everyone comes to Amane's home for a study session. After studying and eating lunch they all left. Amane secured 6th place in the exam. And Sheena secured 1st like usual. Because he has gotten better results Sheena decides to clean Amane's ears as a reward. She pats her lap and indicates Amane to lay his head over here. Amane is hesitant. Sheena notices it and tells him to not come if he doesn't want to. Amane assures her it's not like he doesn't want to, but because of his male urges. Sheena trusts him and that's why she is letting Amane lay his head. Amane decides and lay his head. She starts with Amane's right ear. Amane enjoys it. After it's done, Sheena tells him to turn over for the left ear. Amane sees the forbidden boundary. He closes his eyes to resist his urge and turns over. After Sheena is done cleaning, she starts to play with Amane's hair. It's so relaxing that Amane ends up falling asleep. He wakes up and notices, Sheena is asleep too. He tries to wake her up, but she is in deep sleep. With no other choice, Amane carries Sheena to her apartment. He lies her down, but half awake Sheena offers him to sleep next to her. Amane controls his urges and puts a stuffed toy next to her. The next day, Amane returns her apartment key. Sheena in a nervous tone asks if Amane saw any photo frame near her bed. Amane refuses because the room was dark. Sheena is relieved to hear this. Early morning the next day, Sheena comes and wakes Amane up. She is excited and asks if today is anything different about her. Amane looks at her closely and notices she is not wearing her tights. He blushes and looks the other way. He suggests Sheena to not go outside without the tights or else every boy would be staring at her legs. Sheena asks Amane whether he would also stare at them. Amane refuses because it's uncomfortable. Sheena then asks about the time he removed them. Amane explains, at that time it was an emergency. Amane in a bit angry tone scolds Sheena for showing him her bare legs. He shows his worry over Sheena being off guard. Sheena explains that she just wanted to see his reaction, and if he doesn't like it, she won't remove them. Amane in a blushful tone, 
tells that he thinks Sheena looks very cute and amazing in it. But because it's so risky outside, he wants her to keep her guard up. Sheena understands Amane's worry and agrees to wear them. At school, after because of some work Sheena requests Amane and Katawaki to help her in stapling the sports day printouts. Both of them agree. After they are done, some girls outside the class walk by and show their frustration over Sheena showing off her beauty and flirting with boys. Amane is pissed. However, Sheena is calm. At home, Amane is still pissed over what happened. But Sheena tells him to not worry. Because she understands not everyone in the school will like her. She tries to be a good girl with no flaws so that everyone will like her. But it's starting to get exhausting. As long as there is someone who appreciates the real her, she doesn't mind being herself. She put her hands on Amane's cheeks and tells, in front of him she doesn't mind being herself. Because in him she sees a kind person, who is also cute and cool. Amane couldn't resist anymore. He covers her mouth and kisses his hand. He tells her to not say these kinds of words, or the next time instead of his own hand, it will be her lips. Sheena kisses Amane and leaves the room without any word. Amane could not comprehend what just happened. The next day in school, both of them are not making eye contact. Akazawa notices that something happened between these two and asks Amane about it. Amane tells that because of some stuff that happened between them, they are just keeping their distance. At home, Sheena comes and apologizes for what happened yesterday. Amane tells her to not worry about it too much. Because it was him who initiated it. In class, Chitose and Akazawa are devastated to know they are on opposite teams. And because of it, they cannot cheer for each other. At home, Amane asks Sheena about the events she is taking part in. Sheena is in the scavenger race. Amane is surprised to know both of them are taking part in the same event. The next day, it's sports day. After Chitose does her relay. She enthusiastically approaches and tells Amane that she is the one who programmed the scavenger race. Amane does not like the way Chitose said it. The scavenger race begins. Everyone picks up the cards. Sheena comes and tells Amane to come with her because the answer to the cards question is him. Amane joins her because she is also the answer to his cards question. They both start running to the finish line. When they hold each other's hands, the boys in the stand are freaking out. After they reach the finish line, Chitose share their cards question aloud through the mic. For Amane, the quest was to finish the race with the most beautiful person he knows. Before sharing Sheena's quest, Chitose asks for her permission. Sheena agrees. For Sheena, the quest was to finish the race with the person who is very important to her. Everyone is shocked including Amane. On the other side, Sheena has a very proud look. In the class, a few boys gang up on Amane and ask how an average guy like him is important to Sheena. They ask whether he was also the person with Sheena in the new year and the shopping complex. Amane tells them that it was him. They ask the reason, he and Sheena were acting like strangers all the time. Amane replies that because he knew it would make a fuss like this. They ask whether he is dating her. Amane replies that they are close but not dating. It's just a one side thing. Sheena enters the class. The boys are curious and ask whether she likes Amane or not. Sheena replies, yes. They are in disbelief. And ask how she can like a dull and average guy like Amane. What did she see in him? Sheena is pissed. She asks in what sense they consider Amane to be average. The guy tells that Amane doesn't have looks to be Sheena's boyfriend. Sheena then asks whether he chooses his girlfriend based only on looks. She made it clear, that no one has the right to tell her who she can like or not. And to answer what she saw in Amane is that he is handsome, gentle, and has a cool personality. They apologizes and left the class. Before school ends, Amane is determined to confess his feeling to Sheena. And does not want to stay a coward. At home, Amane is a bit nervous. Sheena comes and sits next to him. Before Amane says anything, Sheena apologizes for what she said. She should have let Amane handle the situation. Amane apologizes for being a coward. For a very long time, he has feelings for her but didn't dare to confess. But now he has decided. Amane pulls Sheena closer and tells that he wants to know more about her. He wants to touch her more and spend the rest of his life with her. Amane asks if she will be his girlfriend. Sheena without any hesitation accepts and tightly hugs him. Consider liking and subscribing this channel if you enjoyed the recap. Have a wonderful day ahead.